感谢各位今天的参与。那我们这一个 C 选主要是讲说在家 hack， 然后工位危机下的科技应变。那这个 C 选比较特别，是说哦会有三个呃属性差异蛮大的三个主题。那第一个主题会是介绍说缅甸。他们在呃整个工位危机下的时候，呃可能公民的部分自发去做一些事情，然后带来了一些资讯的传递。第二个主题的部分会是由 Project Lockdown 去介绍他们在呃工位呃 COVID-19 的期间，然后去做各种资料的收集，然后试着把呃各种国家它的一个呃可能封锁的情况。把它视觉化呈现，然后第三个议题的部分会由我们台湾这边的九松团去介绍如何在整个呃 COVID-19 期间进行一个 conference 的活动。那我们接下来的部分，因为在第一位讲者的部分，我们会有呃预录的影片，然后第二位第二场的讲者他会有远端及时参与，然后第三场才是由现场。那我们接下来的部分，我们可能就先看呃第一场讲者他的预录影片，然后在影片结束之后，我们会直接线上邀请他做 Q&A 的部分。那我们先播放在第一场的呃预录影片。声音的部分有点状况。那呃，其实就是 Nian Chen Coco， 他其实在这个整个过程的经验是比较特别的地方，是因为缅甸的人口有五千多万人，但实际上在缅甸，他可以上网的人口可能不到他总人口的一半。在这样一个情况底下，他们其实面临了很大的一个资讯传递的挑战。那在这样的一个前提下，年科科呃年券的部分，他就是尝试了做一件事情，就是把呃可能政府一开始所对外公开的各种呃可能不同格式的资料，试着把那些不同来源的资料把它整理出来，然后试着把它整理放上网络，由视觉化的方式去呈现。在这样一个过程中，他们做呃，其实他们有募呃招募了很多的算是职工的协助，然后参与到其中，在 OK， 那我们接下来部分看，我们来看年券的介绍。In December 2019, I saw interesting news on Facebook that a strange virus was spreading rapidly in Wuhan city. Many experts speculated that, at this rate, it could infect the whole world in a short period of time and become a global pandemic. I learned about pandemic in my school and always watched the movies, so I knew it was gonna be a big deal. The question popped up in my mind was, how do we prepare when it arrives in Myanmar, and which kind of the proactive measures could we take? As expected, the virus spread to the gantries with the highest flight condition. Until then, we didn't have much clear reporting about each and every cases. Then I found a dashboard made by John Hopkins University. It tracks the coronavirus case number from different authorities, uh, health institutions, and medias, and show. To the viewers in a very simple term, we have used similar reporting、uh, in the Google Analytics or Firebase, or in any other kinds of monitoring tools. But using that in the healthcare setting, I haven't seen many. By learning from the job John Hopkins dashboard, I believe that the information is very crucial, and it plays important role. To control the spread of virus at the scale, I decided that I will build the virus surveillance dashboard for Myanmar. My name is Dr. Yin Chen Gogo, and I am from Myanmar. I work in one of the UN organizations, and I am a medical doctor, but I also the、uh, tech analyst. So I build the、uh, civic tools. Uh, clean open data and advocate the use of technology for better healthcare. I want to share about some background of Myanmar before we continue to the pandemic. 
Myanmar is a country in Southeast Asia, and it is neighbor to Thailand, China, and India. According to 2014 census data, we have the population of the 55 millions. Myanmar became the democratic country in 2010, and the last general election was held on November 8, 2020. And the ruling party, National League of Democracy, which is led by the Aung San Suu Kyi, won the election again with the extra landslide in all regions. Well, 10 years ago, in Myanmar, the mobile internet was not available, and the internet censorship was high. And we could not even have access to YouTube or blog posts, and also the connection speed was notoriously slow. It was even the lowest among regional countries. Besides, the mobile SIM cards were very expensive, and we had to pay about five hundred US dollars to buy one SIM card. So only a few percent of the population had the smartphone, and the, they have access to the internet. However, since 2013, the five major telecoms entered the Myanmar market, and、uh, they ran the business to give, ah,、uh, to provide the services, like internet services and mobile services to the Myanmar people. There are about more. To have twenty millions, or、uh, probably more than twenty millions, internet users in Myanmar, and all of them are on the Facebook. Most people use the Facebook as the internet, and they do all kind of activities,、uh, such as the communication, the finding the information, online shopping, ah,、uh, entertainment,、uh, even dating. So, and. So, what about the open data and the civil tech? What is what is this like in Myanmar? Well, it is a relatively new term、um, for most of the people, but I think that many people have been doing a similar work under、uh, different names. The civil tech ecosystem in Myanmar is mainly driven by people who have a strong desire to see the country in a good place in. Uh, global setting. Most of the projects are run by local people with the, from the tech backgrounds、uh, at their own expenses. So we can see the civil tech activities、uh, and projects in the in the government related works, the election, the parliaments, information, environment, agriculture, and even and the lastly healthcare. But I have to confess that this is not a complete list, and many more that I am not familiar are left behind. Okay, now you got the idea about what is the Myanmar and what is the, what is the situation in 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 Myanmar. Now let's return to the pandemic. So,、uh, when I have decided that I will build a dashboard, coronavirus dashboard for Myanmar. Uh, the first thing I had to do was to find the data source. Sadly, there was the no like data source in Myanmar. The only reliable one I could find find so far was from the Ministry of Health and Sports. And、uh, but they didn't publish the data data in the、uh, tabular format. And、uh, but in the announcement and in news format, my first thought was that to use the pattern recognition or natural language processing、um, to read the Myanmar text in those news and announcement. However, it is the NLB is not ready, and and we 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 could not invest、uh, the resources in it, and that will be a huge work. So the only option was to do the manual extraction with humans, and this is the way. We had to read the news two or three times to understand the context and、uh, figure out which kind of data is given in the news and and what is useful for us. 
In that way, we get out the basic demographic, like age, sex,、uh, location, and they are various data such as the, is it positive, negative, or whether they have the travel hit to the other、uh, countries, or do they have any contact, so on. Besides the presentation style and the writing writing pattern of the news, usually change multiple times a week. If the if the announcement format is changed, we have to relearn the pattern, and it took us a lot of time to transfer into the dataset. At first, it was only me. Then I received the help from my colleagues, and they helped me by giving suggestions, advices. Sometimes they even helped me to fill the data when I was busy with other tasks. I created a Google spreadsheet, and we all worked together on that. The extracted data、uh, from news、uh, is transferred into the spreadsheet along with the reference link. That was back in the 2020 February,、uh, before the COVID was announced as pandemic. Since we skip the forms and.、Uh, Import directly into the spreadsheet, the error rate could be high if everyone work from the different devices and with the different formats. So we could see the some spelling mistakes or the different date format. Fortunately, we have a data set that include the states, region names, township names, and even the villages name, and and that names are recorded with the goat. Name and they are they are coordinate.、Uh, we downloaded that data set and use it as a validation for township names. Since we know the location and we can add the extra information like the latitude, longitude, and they are state or city names, or the standard English name of the townships can be added automatically、uh, into the data set. When we got the enough data to be used in the dashboard, I built the first version of the Corona COVID Myanmar dashboard, and this is the first version of the dashboard. It's pretty simple, right? Because Myanmar didn't have the positive cases until、uh, March twenty three. The earlier version of the dashboard is not was not stable, and it had a lot of gaps. It was meant to show the potential of dashboard and the concept behind it. We also explore other government reports and announcement and、uh, pull everything related to the COVID, such as the quarantine facilities, the number of quarantine people, donations, and medical supply distributions to the to the states and regions and townships. Later on, the announcement format became quite stable, and our workflow has also improved. So instead of giving hours to monitor the news, we only need to share the few minutes to quickly check the update. Many more people are willing to join us to help the, for the data entry works, but we could reduce the workload、uh, by learning the new tools like Tabular to extract the information from PDFs. We even tried to use the Tesfet OCR to extract from printed tables, but there was a problem with the Myanmar language. We share not only the dashboard but also the dataset, the structures, and the designs to everyone who wants to adapt and create new. One of the health,、uh, state health authorities, they can improve their workflow and the data management process. Uh, by adopting some of the methods we use in the COVID Myanmar dot com dashboard, with some of the people they are not satisfied with the dashboard and they want to play with the raw data to create the mobile apps or to do the research or to write the articles about the situation in Myanmar. So there was the popular. Contact tracing app in Myanmar, known as the Care Together.、Um, they use the, our data set to show the data from the township levels. So indirectly, we supported the hundreds of thousands of application users. 
We also received a lot of support from the social influencers, uh, a small donations and stipend to continue the work for a very long period of time. And one of the pe people even donated me uh, the name the covidmyanmar.com the domain name it became the official project name for us people recognized that covidmyanmar.com as a reliable source and they shared a, a, among their uh, uh, networks and the audience or dashboard is mainly the decision makers that is what we wanted to do COVID Myanmar is the first COVID-19 dashboard ever made in Myanmar it was even released one week earlier than the government's official dashboard. We didn't start the project based on the funding and ran with a huge team. We began with an idea and built brick by brick with the help of volunteers. The dashboard created a huge impact on my community, the international donors, the UN, INGOs, even government like the Thailand, they use the COVID Myanmar as a reliable source to understand the situation in Myanmar. We transform the culture of the data in Myanmar and inspire a lot of people to produce the similar dashboards in other areas like the politics, education, agriculture, and the business. And now people got the idea to do the analytics on the dashboard and to show the real-time reporting about their business. I believe that the same practice can be used in everywhere in any situation. We started from the scratch and built a sustainable product by using minimal resources. And this is what we want to share to the Golf Zero today. Thank you. 呃，我们非常谢谢长者的分享。那我们待会 Q&A 的部分，我们会透过 Slido 进行。那其实长者已经在远端 ready。那我们就是等一下的部分，就欢迎大家透过 Slido 进行提问。在开始之前，其实我呃，大家可能在提问题之前，我其实有已经有先跟长者联系过。那我可能先问几个问题。就是呃，我想在这一场的部分问一下李恩全的部分是呃，他在制作这个资讯对外公开的期间，不知道有没有接受来自可能政府的压力，或者政府可能会接主动接触啊，以及这方面的经验。那我们看，请李恩全的部分，包、欸、，Hello， 李恩全 ，Are you there？ Hello. Hello, ma'am. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Uh. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear us? Nian Chai. Uh. Uh. Did you hear my first question? Uh. I'm not. Not yet. Say that again. 好，我们。就是我再 repeat 一下我第一个问题，就是呃，不知道在您在制作这个仪表板的过程中，是不是有受到来自政府端的压力？对啊。Uh, well, yeah, I I think the question you asked is the the first one, right? The, did I receive any attack about the content? 好。Uh, 那我们接下来看 Slido 的第一个问题。好，第一个问题是，呃，您在制作这个仪表板的过程中，是否有受到任何的攻击，或者是说有这样的声音是不相信你的资料？啊，如果如果发生这样的情况，你是怎么样的处理？呃、um, ，sorry， I have a little bit of problem with the, the translation device. Yeah. So, the, uh, to answer this question, um, actually, yeah, I didn't have any attack from uh from anyone. 
Um, like most reliable. I don't because like we said in our, our data set, we always uh, like uh, rely on the data from the official publication, like the government announcement. And uh, we, we always have to be, like uh, reference link in every data. So that is why we, uh, we can like give like so in that way, we guarantee the accuracy of our data set. Yeah. Uh, I think I will put another question, right? Because like I need a strong thing as well on my side. Uh, so like, like I said, like, the credibility and the public trust uh, for the data set, it's we always get the reference to the original data. We, um, we don't manipulate our data and uh, we, uh, we, we didn't try to change it. Uh, besides, we look for our supporters. Uh, they are from, they are also the like, people who have the reputation who, uh, who can guarantee uh, the accuracy of our work. So since they support uh, dashboard and the uh, like the 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 also been also uh, trust in their in the data and our dashboard. Um, any stress from the government? Uh, so, uh, the government is uh, Australian sports, they are doing their work. And uh, since most of their work are not uh, machine readable, not interpretable for most of the people, we're trying to go back to the monocular format. So, since uh, even though we don't have the official collaboration, we are just supporting each other, they provide the data. On their website and the Facebook page, and uh, I try to get the data and put it in the spreadsheet or the similar data special format and republish in the dashboard and uh, 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 on the data set. Uh, well, I remember one question what is your resource to your website? Uh, yeah, so I, I use the uh, Google platform, Google Data Studio, and uh, Google Spreadsheet. I know that that is uh, like a child play for most of the people, but um, since, I'm, since I, I said what if I, I had to work alone and uh, I didn't have any support, so I had to think about uh, uh, to, to cut off this. Uh, resources to limit the resources as much as possible, so that I don't need to invest my time on the. I don't need to invest a lot of my time on the website development, but instead focus on the dashboard and the uh, data. So when I use the data studio, it is very easy, and uh, the. Uh, I can instantly change the design and the uh, data structure and, and the chat inside it. So that is very convenient for me. Uh, and also the data Google uh, sheet. That Google sheet is uh, uh, honestly when I started with the Google sheet, I expect to reach the number of patients to like uh, uh, hundred thousands. In, in one year, I only expected to reach like ten thousand. Uh, but until now, I can manage the uh, increasing number of data in the Google spreadsheet. But if this uh, if the number of patients is increasing at this rate, I had to find out the alternative uh, to to like. 
to work on the bigger uh, data structure and so. Um, yeah, is there anything I need to answer? Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, Nian Chen. Uh, 也可以感受得到说，呃，在缅甸的情况，他们在知识的普及可能是呃比较困难的情况。那在这样的情况下，其实，在年卷他其实还是很努力的，从官方的资讯萃取了呃，我适合大家可以去参考的图资资讯图表。以及说，他们在这个过程中，他们其实建立了资讯对外的平台之后，其实包括说邻国泰国的部分，他们也有参考了，包括呃他所制作的资讯图表来进行一个疫情的控制工作。那好，那。那我们想要问说，呃，也许请长者看看、嗯、还要不要再回答我们线上朋友其他的问题。我们大概还有一个问题的部分可以回应。Hello。So since since I don't speak the Chinese, I I cannot understand most of this work. But uh, yeah, I will uh I will try to answer the more questions here. If uh, if the time is up, and I uh, please let me know, right? Uh, so the internet connection in so in the in the pre-recorded video, I uh, mentioned about the internet in Myanmar, but that connection was like. Uh, about uh, uh, the situation about like 10 years ago. But now we have a 4G internet and also the 4.5G on on the way. And so uh, the internet coverage rate is uh, pretty high. Like I said, about the 20 million people, which is nearly half of the population has access to the uh, internet. <coughs> uh, the poor internet connection is actually because of the infrastructure, yes. Because at the time, there was no competition. There's only one uh, telecom to give the internet access to the whole country. That is, now we have more than like, more than five telecoms working to support the internet to everyone. So we have more uh, choices. And we competition is increasing, and like we can get the higher speed in the lower price now. Yeah. Well, yeah, I I have well, actually I don't have an uh, individual plan to uh, collaborate with the government, but on the other hand, I I am working in the one of the organizations, uh, which is uh, supporting directly to the. Uh, government. So, so I am, uh, I, I am working in an organization and supporting to the Ministry of Health and Sport uh, for 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 this COVID and also for the health related uh, data works. 好的，那我们非常感谢尼恩全今天跟我们的分享啊， uh, 我们非常谢谢他。Okay, thank you, Nian Chen. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah.